welcome to Three in One Golf. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the clubs for uh, the Aftershock 2 system. Okay, I have to record this with the with the GoPro because my recording software just won't uh, record the the OptiShot for some reason. So bear with me. Okay, so to start uh, the calibration of your clubs, you just press play practice. I think you can do this on a course as well, but. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the driving range and do it. So just press practice. And then we go to the, we choose the driving range and uh, press practice. And when we're at the driving range, we Okay, when we're at the driver range, we're gonna click uh, down in the bottom right corner and calibrate club. Uh, I've already done this once, but I'm gonna show you how to do it again. And you just have to do this one time, you don't have to do this every time you start up the system. When you press calibrate in the, the bottom right corner, you will get uh, this screen. Shows a drive ahead. You don't have to do it with a driver, you can do it with the whatever club you want. So, first, it wants us to swing over the sensors uh, with a straight uh, club face. You don't have to swing fast, it's more important to have the club face straight when you move it over the sensors. So, I'm going to do this five times. Three, four, and one more time. Five. There you go. And then you press next. Okay, after you press next, uh, you get uh, uh, this uh, window. And then you have to swing the club over the sensors with an open face. So we're gonna do that now. And then we press next again. Uh, now we just have to do the same but uh, with a closed face. About 10 degrees closed. One, two, three, four, five. Then we just press finish. And when we have pressed finish, uh, we are done uh, uh, with the, uh, the calibration of the clubs, and then we can play. And you don't need to have a ball. I hope this helped you calibrate your clubs, so you can be get uh, better accuracy of your aftershock. And, uh, can improve your training and uh, golf game. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe and uh, like the video. In my next video, I'll be showing you a great way to train your uh, wedges from 50 meters without the shot.